don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk, we don't about, talk Bruno. about Bruno. That's a shot of Columbia, the song we don't talk about. Bruno, no, no. From the anima an animated movie No Laughing Land, Encanto <laughs> soared to the top of the Billboard charts. The film introduces us to the Colombian Madrigal family who live in a magic house. The emotional high point is the song Dos Oruguitas. Dos oruguitas enamoradas pasan sus noches y madrugadas llenas de hambre siguen andando y navegando un mundo que cambia y sigue cambiando navegando un mundo que cambia y sigue cambiando that song is nominated for an Oscar. Thank you very much. The songwriter is Lynn Manuel Miranda and the singer is Sebastian Yatra. They join us in the studio. Welcome, welcome, gentlemen. I have no idea Lynn, what they're saying. I had to get the translation. <laughs> but the minute I heard it, the minute I heard it, I felt it so deeply. It touch your soul. It yeah, really it does. does. It goes right in there in the heart. It's very different from any other song in the movie. Yeah, it, it, uh, yeah I think that's what makes it special is this is one of the only times a character's not singing the song. It, I really, the goal was to write a folk song that feels like it's always existed. Uh -huh. um, I wrote a nature metaphor about these two caterpillars, caterpillars who are in love and are scared to let each other go, but you have to. You have to let each other go to, for the miracle to happen and for you to become the next version of yourself. And that felt like a metaphor not only for what Abuela and Pedro are going through, but what this whole family's going through. Yeah, yeah, throughout the movie. The movie, number one, is beautiful. It's so... It's a feast for the eyes, too. Sebastian, before we talk to you, I love when you found out that it was nominated for an Oscar. Thank you for posting it on Instagram. Here it is. <laughs> Here are the nominees for Achievement in Music Original Song. Be Alive from King Richard. Dos or... <laughs> oh, that's great. I like that house. No, 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 you're invited. It, it's but, in Colombia, in, in the mountains. In oh, Colombia. But beautiful. Sebastian, what was so interesting to me about you started jumping before they all they said was dos, and you just jumped out of your skin. <laughs> yeah, the Spanish song they were going to read. Yeah, it was, the, yeah. it was the only those that they were going to say, especially when they put the accent like dos. Or, I'm like, <laughs> they were, were so, so what? Uh, how, did you two know each other? How did this come about? No, we were just sort of mutual yeah. fans, actually. Tom McDougal uh, at Disney put us together, and I was so I was so intrigued by the idea of Sebastián singing. His voice is so angelic and yes. so beautiful, and uh, so we got on a Skype, and um, I just you went in with your musicians, and I was like, I'll see you on the other side. Yeah. yeah we, so what did it mean to it you to be able to sing this in Colombia? Uh, it means so much. Just the movie in general. Uh, from the get-go was already like something huge for, for my country and for Latin America in general. Like um, seeing that they're making movies based on, on our culture, like it started with Coco and now with Encanto. As soon as Disney like posted like a, a year back, like a little clip, I was like, oh my God, they're making a movie about Colombia. I want to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah. But I couldn't call Lin Manuel or call Disney and be like, hey, put me in. Put me in, Coco. <laughs> no. yes. But when my manager called me and she's like, hey, so they called from Disney, you know Encanto. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. 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 Whatever it is, say yes. Uh, they sent me the song. It was so beautiful. And it it makes me so happy. I, I feel like this is a milagro for me, you uh -huh. know? Encanto is giving me my own milagro. Milagro is a gift. Yeah, yeah. it's a gift. Uh -huh. uh, it's a miracle. And uh, thank you for this thank miracle, you. my friend. Oh, it's mm. beautiful. And it's sung in Spanish regardless. That was also yeah. something it's that not was typical. Though. Yes. Usually these movies go all around the world and they find a local musician to sing it in whatever the local language is. But you're keeping it in Spanish. How come? Yeah, it, and that was really exciting, too, because I, I always love when Disney releases their supercuts where it's like, here's Let It Go in 21 Languages. One of my here's favorite how videos, far I'll go in 21 <laughs> Languages. But all over the world, Los Oruguitas was in Spanish, and that was important, one, because we're representing <laughs> Colombia. I also think that because this is Abuela's song, and she's the foundation um, of this family, and this story is the foundation of this family, it was very Los important Oruguitas. to keep it in Spanish mm -hmm. um, all over the world. Yeah, now Sebastian, or Sebastian. Uh, I know, I noticed Lynn said Sebastian. Right, gotcha. yes. Listen, and Lynn, um, <laughs> you're, you're on tour, and your yes. album is a hit. Um, oh, why do you believe your music is resonating right now with English audiences and all around the world? 
I think it, it, it has a little bit to do, I see you with the taco. I, oh, oh, no, I wore this on purpose for you. Red they, Heels, yeah, that's because he's got a hit song, Red Heels. I wore this for you. Exactly. Thank you for noticing, quiet. Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian, yes. Um, you know, it's. I think it has a lot to do with what happens in, in Dos Oruguitas and, and uh, Lynn's writing, which is like just honest from his heart. And mm -hmm. I've always tried to do that with my music, and now more than ever with this album, Dharma, and I'm so inspired by songwriters like him and other songwriters that I listen to their music and it's like, I know uh, that there's so much more behind it than wanting to like get something out of the song. It's just right. like you're focused on the emotions. There's mm. real things happening. There is a first and last name on many of these songs mm. on the album, you know, mm -hmm. like you, when you write them about actual situations and actual people. And I, I, mo a lot of the songs aren't like to be sung on the radio. Tacones Rojos, I wrote it because I wanted to send it on WhatsApp to somebody and <laughs> this girl to hear it, you know? So it's like, there's a lot of truth in it, I guess. Mm. Lynn, if you win an Oscar, you will be the youngest person to have an EGOT. I know that's not something that consumes you because you do what you do, <laughs> because you love what you do. But do you ever take that in, wrap your brain around what you've accomplished? At this stage in your life. No, it's it's really, you know, it's funny, like, it's really kind of an interesting stat. Like, I was I was watching the Australian Open, watching Rafa Nadal break the record of yes. most opens. But, like, he's not thinking about that when right. the ball is coming at him at 140 <laughs> miles an hour. Right. And I'm not thinking about that at the piano. I'm thinking, you know, what does Abuela want to say? What does Luisa need to say to her sister? Yeah. And then you look up. And, you know, the, the stats are the stats. And that's what, what's cool mm. about it is that's a cool club. Like, Rita Moreno is my hero. Yes. John Legend is my hero. Bobby Lopez is one of my closest friends. He's in that club. So it's a cool club. Yeah. But, like, that's not what you think about. You think about, you know, what's the moment and telling the truth. You've got two kids of your own, four and seven, yeah, I believe. Yeah, one so named Sebastian. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. My oldest right? Sebastian. Right in the age group for Encanto. So we were talking in the green room. It's like the new personality test. Which character do you identify in the, with in the movie? What about your kids? Yeah, my, my oldest, Sebastian, is definitely Camilo. Like, he says, Daddy, they sing it on the bus, and they sing all the parts. We don't talk about Bruno. He goes, I sing, I am one of several Camilos. <laughs> sings the Camilo part. And then it's interesting. My four-year-old, you know, he, he, he likes Bruno, too, but he loves... Um, Waiting on a Miracle, which is Mirabelle's uh, song. Yeah. He's, you know, he's little and he's all cheeks and he just sits <laughs> on the couch and goes, I can't move. Oh. <laughs> the cutest thing you ever... I would break the internet if I allowed my kids online, but I keep it for us. Wait, well, what's those, next those, for you? Or, yeah. I know you're busy. What's next? Me? I, I got some dental work I got to get done. <laughs> no, I'm really... I'm, 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 I was wondering about your teeth. I'm refilling, <laughs> my, I'm refilling my cup this year. I'm just really taking it easy because I had four movies last year. Like, oh, I, I need to... You I, deserve a little break. You're yeah. a little busy. And is it Dos Oreguitos or Dos or Because Giselle, Giselle, who's from... Her parents are from El Salvador and Honduras, said I was saying it wrong. Dos Oreguitos? Oruguitas. All right, Oruguitas. you got it, Gil. Okay. Hey, Manuel Miranda and Sebastián Yatra, thank you so much. <laughs> for blessing us with your presence. Yes, we'll be right yes. Back. thank you for coming. Thank you.